hello everyone welcome in this video let us solve this equation so we have y raised to power y raised to power 3 is equal to 36 and yeah what to solve for the values of y that will satisfy this given equation now to do this solution solution now the question is y raised to power y raised to power 3 is equal to 36 so solve this equation first we are going to cube the both side of the equation so we're going to have in brackets y raised to power y raised to power 3 all raised to power 3 is equal to 36 all raised to power 3. Now with this done, at this junction, we're going to bring in one identity that if you have a raised to power x power of y, this is equal to a raised to power x times y. And this can be written as a raised to power y times x because y times x will give us the same value as x times y. So with this, this can be written in the form of a raised to power y or power of x. So, right, um, a raised to power x power of y is also equal to a raised to power y power of x. Now, applying this identity to this right here, what we'll do is that for our theory right here, we'll call it as uh, y, let's call it y, and then let's call um, power y raised to power theory as x, such that applying this rule that um, a raised to power x power of y then it then becomes power of y power of x that means we flip the y to come inside and then the x to go outside so applying this rule right here we have it as y y then y which is 3 comes inside 3 then close brackets r raised to power y raised to power 3 which is x goes outside so y raised to power 3 which equals 36 r raised to power 3 at this junction, looking at the left hand side of the equation, we have it as y raised to power 3, which is the base, right, is equal to y raised to power 3, which is the exponent, right? So we're going to make it that, okay, on the right hand side of the equation, the base right here should also equal the power right here. And to do this, right, don't forget that 36, 36 is equal to 6 raised to power 2, right? So in replace of 36, you can bring in 6 raised to power 2. So applying that, are going to have it as in bracket y raised to power 3 or raised to power y raised to power 3 right is equal to now 36 can be written in the form of 6 squared so in bracket 6 squared or raised to power 3 so with this we can then bring in one identity that if you have a raised to power n power of m this equals a raised to power n times m okay so applying this rule to this right here what we have what we have is that we're going to have brackets y raised to power 3 or power of y raised to power 3 is equal to we have 6 then 2 times 3 is 6 such so that now the base right here on the left hand side equals the power right here and also on the right hand side the base is equal to the power so with this we can then use one rule that if you have a raised to power b is equal to a raised to power c since the base are equal you can compare the exponents such so that b is equal to c applying this rule right here we can then compare the exponents now in this case y raised to power 3 is then equal to 6. To then solve for y, we are first going to eliminate this 3, power 3 right here. And to do so, you multiply both sides of the equation by power 1 over 3. So, doing, doing so, we're going to have it as in brackets, y raised to power 3, power of 1 over 3 is equal to 6 raised to power 1 over 3. With this done, applying the rule that if you have a raised to power n, power of m is equal to a raised to power n times m. So applying this rule right here, what we have is that we are going to have in brackets y raised to power 3 then times 1 over 3 is equal to 6 raised to power 1 over 3. Such that with this, we are going to have it as y raised to power 3 times 1 is 3 right all over 3 is equal to 6 raised to power 1 over 3. And this equals y raised to power 3 over 3 is 1 is equal to 6 raised to power 1 over 3. Now with this, y raised to power 1 is y which equals 6 raised to power 1 over 3. And with this, we've gotten the value of y. But let us check, let's confirm if truly this value of y will satisfy the given equation. Now in the given equation, let's check. 
the given equation is y raised to power y raised to power 3 is equal to 36. And yet, the value of y is 6 raised to power 1 over 3. In fact, we can also express this value of y in another form. Okay, and the form is, now, following the rule that if you have a raised to power 1 over n, this is equal to the nth root of a raised to power 1. So, applying this rule right here, we can have this um, answer to be in this form or we can have it to be, now, this will become the cube root of 6 raised to power 1. And 6 power of 1 is same thing as 6. So, this can also be the answer. Now, back to, let's confirm whether this, the value of y will satisfy this given equation. The value of y is this or this. So, using this one, which is in brackets, y is now 6 power of 1 over 30. Then, y is 6 power of 1 over 30. All power of 30 is equal to 36. So, with this equal 36, let's confirm. So, solving this, right, we're going to apply a rule that if you have a raised to power n, power of m, this equals a raised to power n times m. So, just that this power right here, power 1 over 3, multiply power 3. Now, we're going to have it as in brackets, 6 raised to power in brackets, 1 over 3, then raised to power 6, then you have 1 over 3 times 3, right, is equal to 36. So, with this equal 36, Solving this further, I'm going to have it as in brackets 6 raised to the power 1 over 3, right? Then 1 times 3 is 3, so 6 to the power 3 all over 3. With this equal 36, question mark. Solving this, we're going to have it as okay, um, 3 will divide 3, you have it as 1. Then 6 power of 1 is same thing as 6, so 6 raised to the power 1 over 3, then all power of 6. This with this equal 36 question mark. Now solving this, applying the rule that if you have a raised to power n power of m, which equals a raised to power, you have n times m. So applying this rule right here, what we then have is that we're going to have it as 1 over 3. This power right here multiply power 6. Shows that we have it as 6 raised to power 1 over 3 times 6 with this equal 36. Now 6 raised to the power 1 times 6 is 6 over 3 with this equal 36. Now 6, power of 6 divided by 3 is 2 with this equal 36. 6 power of 2 is 36 which equals 36. And so that means that the value of y that we got, right, the value of y that we got satisfies this given equation. And the value of y is y is equal to 6 raised to power 1 over 3. So I hope you all learned one or two. Don't forget to like the video, share the video to your friend, and please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe now. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Bye.